Hey guys, how's it going? My name's Justin Nelson with Happy Fox Productions, and today we're going to be doing a quick review slash overlook video on Pond 5's uh, new app inside of Premiere Pro. And in case you guys haven't heard of what it is, it is essentially an app that you install right inside of Premiere Pro, and you essentially get to browse all of Pond 5's libraries and assets and sound effects and stock footage without having to leave Premiere Pro. Now, if you guys use Pond 5 like I do, Pond 5 is a stock footage website where you can download sound effects, assets, After Effects templates, basically everything you need. And, you know, they're a really good site. I really recommend that you guys check them out. All right, so really quick, I'm gonna show you guys how it is and how what it is and how it works, and essentially, how do you download it and get inside your software? So first, as you would expect, you'd want to go to Pond5 for Premiere Pro CC. So I'll just show you guys really quick. Premiere Pro, Pond5, as you'd expect. And then you would just go to the Pond5 website. And of course, this is a free download, so you don't have to pay money for it. You just go ahead and click Download Now, then it'll take you to the Adobe website. And I already have it installed, so you would just click this button right here, which should say Download or Install or whatever funny word it'll say. Then once you click that, it'll download into your Creative Cloud folder which if you guys run a Windows computer, it'll be up in here somewhere, wherever your Creative cl Cloud icon is. Mine is right there. So then once I downloaded it, you would then go to, you've installed the add-on for Pond5 Premiere Pro CC, and if you have issues downloading it, you can just click this link, and it'll just take you right to the page that'll give you detailed instructions on how to get it inside of your software. But it's actually pretty simple and self-explanatory. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize that. And while you do that, you're going to want to make sure that your Premiere Pro app is closed. Uh, it's not the end of the world if it's not, but if you're like me and you just want to get things right the first time, then you're going to want to close your app. So what we have here is a sizzle reel that I did for Fox Sports. It's basically like a basketball thing. And the client in the beginning, he's really big on aerial shots and all of that. It makes the, makes the production look more bigger. What? My vocabulary, guys. It makes the production look bigger and more, I hate using the term cinematic, it makes it look more cinematic and gives it a bigger scope and bigger budget than it really did have. So, but this is just footage that I got off of, um, where did I get this footage? I don't even remember where I got this footage, but it wasn't Pond5. But let's say in this scenario, we don't have this footage. So I'm just gonna go on ahead and delete that. Actually, no, I'm just gonna move it over because it's actually an active video that I'm working on. So, you know, I don't, want, I don't want to mess up my work. And the client's like, hey, go redo it. All right, so let's say I needed some uh, footage here. I'm like, ah, oh, damn it. I need some footage of Denver for the beginning of the sizzle reel. I'm like, okay, what am I going to do? I could go to pond5.com, but that'll take a whole five minutes out of your day to do that. So instead, I'm going to go to Windows. Oh, God, where is it? Extensions, Pond5. Boom. Just give it a second. It's going to load up. Now here's the fun part. It is integrated directly inside of Premiere Pro. So even if you wanted to uh, integrate it inside of your workspaces so it's always there, you can do that. I just kind of like to let it chill here because I'm not using it all the time. So let's say I needed, well, first off, let me just show you guys how it works. So I'm signed in under my Happy Fox Productions account. You guys can easily just sign in right here or you could create an account, just log in. And what you do, what basically the way this works is it puts an entire online library inside of Premiere Pro. So the first thing that it's gonna want you to do is select a folder that you can essentially download your proxy files and your downloaded files. So I've already set that, but once you click and open this up, it's gonna ask you like, yo man, where do you wanna put it? Just be like, okay, put it in C drive or whatever your, whatever your media solution is. And that is very easy and it takes a second. And so now the way this works is we have all these files here and of course, you know, it's stock footage, so it do cost, it does cost money, but of course you can always go in. So first let's go into the filters. Filters, you could easily navigate like, all right, I need, since this is broadcast, I'm gonna do 1080p because Fox doesn't need 4K. And that could just do 29.97 or 23, you know, just for the sake of whatever we're doing. And then of course you can go down, do whatever price you want. Like I really don't wanna spend that much money, just do that much the duration, all these things you need. And look at that, that's already a pretty cool shot. Props to whoever filmed that. Um, so that is essentially the way that works. You just go through and navigate exactly what you want. That's pretty self-explanatory. And I forgot to mention, by downloading this, you get 50 free stock footage items. So you just go here and you just access your 50 free clips and you can download full resolution, 50 clips, courtesy of Pond5. So anyways, I'm just gonna go ahead and type in Denver Aerial. I cannot spell aerial. Is that right? That's pretty close. All right, so here's some stock footage shots of Denver. And if I wasn't a smart person, I'm like, well, I, I don't know if that is Denver. It doesn't look like Denver. 
I could just easily just go right here and go visit web page and it'll give me the details of exactly what it is. Bird's eye panorama overlooking downtown Denver. So I'm like, okay, I can confirm that is Denver. So let's say I'm not sure if it's gonna work yet. I'm like, I kinda wanna test it out. They have an efficient solution for that. So you literally just click the shot and it brings it right into your project. Now, granted, this is a proxy file, hence why it downloaded so quickly. It's less than two megabytes. Now just drag that on here. Of course, it's um, it's watermarked because you know there's some devious people out there that are, you know, trying to steal stuff. So they got to protect themselves. So just going ahead and right click on that, scale to frame size, pretty easy. And because this again, this is a low resolution shot proxy file in a 1080p timeline. And so I could just go ahead and play it through, see if it, see if the shot works. And that's pretty cool. Actually, I'm just gonna trim that and I might even download one more shot, just something that will, you know, wow the client. Like, oh wow, good job. Did you really film that? I'm like, nah, man, that's stock footage. So I'll probably use this one just cause that's pretty cool. Let that download, literally takes a second, imports it right into your project. Again, just all click on that so I can get rid of the audio. Scale to frame size, I should have a keyboard shortcut for that by now, but I don't. And just, let's see what this looks like. I could probably use one more shot in there just for poops and giggles. So we'll probably do this one. Once again, do that. Oh God, what did I just do? What did I just do? All right, let's go back over here. So just do that, delete, scale to frame size, bring this over, just a rudimentary cut. And I'll probably just do a control D, quick cross dissolve into this shot. Okay, so that is pretty cool. Um, now, here's the cool thing. This kind of wraps the whole video together. That's like, okay, that's pretty cool, Pond5, good job. Is now that you have this done, let's say you're working on a project or documentary where you have a lot of shots spread out across your entire timeline. The cool thing is, is you're like, okay, these are the shots that I want and I wanna buy these shots. The, I'm gonna confirm, or you could even relay that information to your client or your producer or whoever. And you're like, these are the shots that we need and it would cost $600 for all these aerial shots. And like, okay, they check their bank account and they're like, all right, do it. So you just simply click replace with high res clips. And what sequence is this? This is the main sequence. So we just click main sequence, click okay, and check this out. So now we have these three shots in here, ready to go, ready to be purchased. And you can choose if you want the 4K version or the 1080p version, and it'll give you the price tags and everything. And then you essentially just hit proceed and it'll download all the clips into that specified folder that you set in the beginning and it'll import them and do all the editing for them simply within Premiere Pro. So that is the cool part. Like it does all the effects, it keeps all the transitions, it keeps everything the same within Premiere Pro. So I have to admit that is something that's pretty cool. Now me personally, I don't use a lot of stock footage just because of you know my workflow, I just don't. But when I do, I know I could easily just go inside of here within the window, extensions, Pond5, and you know, that's, that's pretty nice because like I said, if you guys are doing this every day or every other day, you know, you're spending a lot of time on the website and you're Googling and searching and all that stuff. You're like, oh man, you're spending like 20 minutes here, 20 minutes here. And then you're filling out your shipping info, not your shipping info. It's, it's the internet, but you're, you know, you're filling out your download info or whatever. And it's like, okay, just doing it all in here eliminates all that time and all that hassle. And it's kind of advantageous for everybody. It's advantageous for you. It's advantageous to well, your schedule and your time, because you probably don't want to spend that much time editing, unless you're like that. But anyways, what else do I got to say? If there was anything that I could, uh, maybe, maybe I'm not the smartest guy and I haven't figured this out yet, but if there was one thing that I could say that I'd like to see improved or noted, and again, maybe they did, maybe they did note this and I'm just, I just haven't noticed it yet is if somebody is a Pond5 member, where would they go to get their downloads? Because everything that I've seen the uh, past few days that I've been using, oh my gosh, that I have been using this software or this add-on plugin is everything you have to pay for. You know, it's 25, 50, $35, which is totally fine because this is top-notch quality footage. But let's say somebody's paying the full price for their membership 
where would they go to get their membership footage? Because I haven't really seen a spot in here where you could simply say like, I only want membership files. Because if you go on their website, for example, you could easily go on there and say, you only want membership content. You could download what you want, but you'd have to go through the whole process of the website and everything. And like I said, we're trying to be efficient here. So you'd probably want to just do it right in here, but I have yet to figure that out. So with that said, um, I guess that's my only critique, but overall, as you guys can see, it's a very efficient workflow. And if this is the kind of thing you do, it's definitely worth checking out. And like I said in the beginning, it's free. So worst case scenarios, you download it and you're like, ah, it's not for me. And you just uninstall it. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Check out the link in the description. If you want to check, uh, if you want to download it, it's like I said, completely free, totally worth it. My name is Justin Melson with Happy Fox Productions. Feel free to follow me on social media if you want to see what we're working on. We're working on a short film in Gore Road that we're going to be releasing very soon, and I'm very excited about that. So if you guys want to you know, keep up with what we're doing and seeing the process, the process of that film, definitely go ahead and check it out. So thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Justin Melson with Happy Fox Productions, and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>